take the top off, put the bottle hard in the microwave. Go for 30 seconds, pull it out, squeeze it, even push on it. Okay, still, it's getting a little soft. Keep going. Okay, take it out. See, now it's getting liquidy. shake it up. Now you can get your cocoa butter all the way melted and good. We're almost there. And then get it in the dehydrator. I think at this point we're going to go for putting it in the dehydrator. So let's take it over here. Get it in there, close it up, and hold it. I'm going to warm up one of my paint brushes that has cocoa butter on it already. Okay, just to warm up the cocoa butter that's on there, we're gonna go over here into our yellow topaz, and then we're going to Paint our cookie. Cool. See how it's like melting a little bit there. Just warming it up. Getting the paintbrush usable again. Okay. Go into my silver paint. And then I store my brushes as is in my cocoa butter brush container and then just continue to rewarm them like that and then I'm gonna go to wipe it off. Ta-da! I feel like it's a bounty paper towel commercial. Hi guys! I am trying to show you a little bit more close up that we didn't get quite done on today's um, FCIA video and as far as airbrushing cocoa butter. So here's my scratch pad that I like to spray on. Okay, here is my, my warming blankets, my heating pad that I have my, my gun in, keeping it warm, plus my, my um, clear um, plain cocoa butter to change between colors, all right? So there's that. So we have this. Now, see this? This is my trash bag hanging down here with my shop towels in it for like my trash and it's hanging on the little thing down here on my holder. All right, now, first off, we're gonna connect GMAC. Turn on my compressor. Test. Okay, and let's put some green in today so we can see the difference in color. Hey, Steve. And um, once again, so that you see right here, I have my things labeled. I have each of my little ramekins labeled. All right, so let's test right here. Beautiful jewel green. Oh, and the question was, um, what PSI do I like to um, spray at? Um, 65 would probably be about as low as I want to go, just so that product can actually get out of there. All right. Um, and about 93 degrees is what you want your, your um, product at, okay? See in there, all right? So you saw we already did the blue splatter, but let's do the... See that? See how that goes? Over here. 
So I'm holding it like this, okay? I have a little bit of an angle and it's spraying off of the tongue depressor or the spreader stick or whatever. I gave you a link to these, okay? So it's a really easy, fast way to do splatter on a whole bunch of stuff, right? I will pour the rest of my product out back into my color thing. I will wipe out what I can here. Then to change color, I'm gonna put a little bit of my plain cocoa butter in there. Okay. And spray it out. Okay, if your product in there is not quite liquidy enough, take your heat gun on low and down at the lowest setting right there, okay? I also gave you the link to this. What's nice too is you can like back bubble like you would, like you would a normal airbrush to clean out the stuff on the inside. 